Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we will be learning about how to create a simple character walk cycle with the help of onion skin option in Adobe Animate software and also with the help of Photoshop software. So here as you can see, I am into my Photoshop software and previously I have also created a particular character walk cycle frame by frame and it is in JPEG format. So here as you can see, I am going for a new file. And I'm going to insert this particular figure which I have already created and which is in PNG format. So now with the help of either you can go for quick selection tool or you can also go for lasso tool. As this particular image is in PNG format, I'm going for lasso tool. If the image is in JPEG format, you can go for quick selection tool. And there are two options. Either you can download a character from Google or you can create a character from Google. As in like this, you can create the walking posture frame by frame. So this will be the easy technique wherein you cannot use the bone tool over here. So you can directly apply this particular animation with the help of onion skin and Adobe Animate CC software. So here as you can see if you are in need of quick selection you can definitely go for quick selection tool. Or if lasso tool is convenient for you you can definitely go for lasso tool. So I have created 6 to 7 postures of a particular character walking and now I have clicked on to my lasso tool and I'm highlighting the first posture and I'm going for control C I'm just going to copy paste it control C and now I'm just going for an new page so in order to convert this particular image into one PNG format as in by avoiding the background I'm going for a new page and A4 and for the background color it should be in transparent so here I'm just going to copy paste this particular picture So this is how we are going to convert each and every picture into PNG format. In order to save it in PNG format, go for file and go for the option called export. So this is for saving it in PHD format as for the original output. If you do want to save your file in original output for further editing, you can just go and save it in the PHD format where the file will be same for the entire process or if you do want to save it in the png format and if the version is 2022 version you cannot find the png format here so what you have to do is go for file export and export as png so here i'm just going to rename it as 1w as in the one walk cycle and i'm saving it in, saving it in my desktop so now As you can see, in my desktop, I have my character walk cycle. So I'm just going to repeat this particular step for other four to five characters, which I have already created. So we have other three characters over here. So I'm just going to do the same process with the help of quick selection tool, or you can also go for lasso tool. In this video, I'm using lasso tool as my background is in PNG. So I'm copy pasting it. I'm going for my transparent background and I'm just going to paste it over here with Ctrl T I'm holding shift and with the help of free transform I am resizing it with equal dimension and equal shape and size and I'm saving it in my desktop with 2W as in the second walk cycle posture. So we are going to repeat the same process till the end of the posture. Once you are done with the entire thing, we can now shift on to Adobe Animate software where we are going to work with character walk cycle animation. So now as you can see, we are done with the Photoshop and now we are into Adobe Animate software. I am going for create new. Under create new, I am going for the option called HD. You can also go for full HD. So this is how the HD screen is going to look like and now go for file and go for import import to library. Whatever images you have converted into PNG format just highlight it with shift and go for import to library. And here towards your right side you have properties and library. In the library you will have all this PNG format to be uploaded automatically. You can find the library option near the properties. So we have all the portions to over here. So now as you can see I am going to change the stage color which is going to act as a background. If you already have some kind of background, you can just import it towards here. So layer one will be my background and my layer two will be the walk cycle. So under layer two, I'm going to apply onion skin. So as for the reference, I'm renaming it as onion. 
as in I am just going to work on with the onion skin for my walk cycle. So at timeline 0, I am bringing my first walk cycle towards here and with transform tool, I am just going to adjust it towards a bit in order to make sure the character is going to be placed inside the particular stage. So now, as you people can see, I have placed my first character. Now in order to apply onion skin, what we are going to do now is that Okay, now the character is placed properly. Now I'm clicking on to the nearby timeline. I'm going for insert blank keyframe and let me come to the first one and I'm going to give the option called onion skin and let's come for the blank keyframe. And now I'm just going to place my second feature which I have created it in PNG format as in the second posture of my walk cycle. So the second portion is done. You can resize it however you want. Now we are going for the next frame. Right click and go for the option called insert blank keyframe. So the onion skin is automatically applied and bring the third portion. So you can create how much ever portions you want it. It can be for a character, it can be for a cartoon figure, it can be for an animal, it can also be for a bird or it can also be for a baby. So the walk cycle is for whatever creatures you want, you can create it accordingly. But this is going to be the simplest form way you can create the walk cycle with the help of onion skin option. So at 0 0.12, this is how the character is going to walk. So I'm just going to repeat the same process for 4, 5 and 6. So now as you can see, I am done with all the keyframes and I have inserted it towards the inside. Now what I am doing below is that I am just highlighting my timeline 0 and I am just making sure the, there is some time space in between each and every frame. So I am highlighting the time space from 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20 I am just moving the keyframes towards a bit so that the character will move slowly. As you can see I am just making sure this character is going to move slow and I'm removing the onion skin option as you can see even now the character is a bit fast so what we can do with is we can also give some spaces between the frames automatically and in order to make a continuous motion you can copy paste this particular frame and immediately you can go for paste frames option so what will happen is it will be as in for a continuous moment so when there is one particular background, the background will move automatically and the stick figure will also move automatically along with your background. So this is how the output will look as in if you are going to go for copy frames and paste frames. So there will be a continuous motion but here as you can see the character is moving really fast. So let me delete this particular frame and let me show you how to make sure the character is going to move a bit slow. So from 5 to 24 I am just moving the frame towards a bit like this and we are going to repeat the same process for the other keyframes. Just move it like this how much however you want your character to move slowly you can just move your frames accordingly and towards the timeline simultaneously. So let me go for control enter. So this is how the character walk cycle is going to be. This is, will be the really simplest and easiest method for you to create a character walk cycle with the help of Photoshop software and with the help of Adobe Animate and only the option we have used here is onion skin. So this will be the real simplest way either you could have created the character walk cycle with the help of bone tool or you could also create the characters in the previous hand and keep it in the PNG format separately and you can just insert it inside the Adobe Animate software. So now we have come to end of today's vlog. In the upcoming vlogs, I will be teaching you about how to use Adobe Animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effects too. Hope you people found it interesting and educative too. If so, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software. Until then, take care.